5. Law and Social Justice Markets everywhere tend to be exploitative of people, whether as workers, consumers or producers. To protect people from such exploitation, the government makes certain laws. These laws try to ensure that the unfair practices are kept at a minimum in the markets. Private companies, contractors, business persons normally want to make as much profit as they can. In the drive for profits, they might deny workers their rights and not pay them wages, for example. In the eyes of the law, it is illegal or wrong to deny workers their wages. Similarly, to ensure that workers are not underpaid or are paid fairly, there is a law on minimum wages which is are revised upwards every five years. Which are revised upwards every few years. As with the law on minimum wages, which is meant to protect workers, there are also laws that protect the interests of producers and consumers in the market. These help ensure that the relations between these three parties, the worker, consumer and producer, are governed in a manner that is not exploitative. But merely making laws is not enough. The government has to ensure that these laws are implemented. This means that the law must be enforced. Enforcement becomes even more important when the law seeks to protect the weak from the strong. For instance, to ensure that every worker gets fair wages, the government has to regularly inspect work sites and penalize people who violate the law. When workers are poor or powerless, the fear of losing future earnings forces them to accept low wages. Thus, employers use their power to pay workers less than the fair wage. Here, it is critical that laws are enforced. Through making, enforcing and upholding these laws, the government can control the activities of individuals or private companies so as to ensure social justice. Many of these laws have their basis in the fundamental rights guaranteed by the Indian Constitution. For instance, the right against exploitation says that no one can be forced to work for low wages or under bondage. Similarly, the Constitution lays down no child below the age of 14 shall be employed to work in any factory or mines or any other hazardous employment. Workers' Worth One reason why foreign companies come to India is for cheap labor. Wages that the companies pay to workers are far higher than what they have to pay to workers in poorer countries like India. For lower pay, companies can get longer hours of work. Additional expenses such as housing facilities for workers are also fewer. Thus, companies can save costs and earn higher profits. One part of the answer lies in what is perceived as the worth of an Indian worker. One worker can easily replace another. Since there is so much unemployment, there are many workers who are willing to work in unsafe conditions in return for a wage. Making use of the worker's vulnerability, employers ignore safety in workplaces. Thus, even so many years after the Bhopal gas tragedy, there are regular reports of accidents in construction sites, mines or factories due to the callous attitude of the employers. Enforcement of safety laws As the lawmaker and enforcer, the government is supposed to ensure that safety laws are implemented. It is also the duty of the government to ensure that the right to life guaranteed under Article 21 of the Indian Constitution is not violated. With more industries being set up both by local and foreign businesses in India, there is great need for stronger laws protecting workers' rights and better enforcement of these laws. New Laws to Protect the Environment In 1984, there were very few laws protecting the environment in India and there was hardly any enforcement of these laws. The environment was treated as a free entity and any industry could pollute the air and water without any restrictions. Whether it was our rivers, air, groundwater, the environment was being polluted and the health of people disregarded. The Bhopal disaster brought the issue of environment to the forefront. Several thousands of persons who were not associated with the factory in any way were greatly affected because of the poisonous gas methyl isocyanate leaked from the plant. This made people realize that the existing laws, though weak, only covered the individual worker and not persons who might be injured due to industrial accidents. In response to this pressure from environment activists and others, 
In the years following the Bhopal gas tragedy, the Indian government introduced new laws on environment. Hence, the polluter was to be held accountable for the damage done to environment. Environment is something that people over generations will share and it could not be destroyed merely for industrial development. Trivia The Bhopal gas disaster of 1984 caused 5,58,125 injuries and about 8,000 deaths within two weeks. Conclusion Laws are necessary in many situations, whether this to be the market, office or factory, so as to protect people from unfair practices, private companies, contractors, business persons, in order to make higher profits, resort to unfair practices such as paying workers low wages, employing children for work, ignoring the conditions of work, ignoring the damage to environment, and hence to the people in the neighborhood, etc. A major role of the government, therefore, is to control the activities of private companies by making, enforcing, and upholding laws.